Taylor with a nice reset cut, trying to move the offense around. Antoine's going deep. It goes to him. It's going to float a little bit. We're going to have some jump ball here. Good positioning from Pittsburgh. Oh, Davis stays with it and makes the grab. Pierce with a great cut, has a lot of time. Ends up going right past him to Davis. No deep shot, wanting something. Looks like he's going to have to reset to Taylor. Able to get a nice bladey throw right up the top. Continues to a wide open Tanner Robinson. Another goal for this young man. And Atlanta comes out fast and hard. You know, behind the disc, uh, Pittsburgh and Atlanta both looking pretty similar with their vertical stack working it between each other, um, but downfield, a bit of a difference. Immediately goes dip deep to Lindquist. Some pressure, it's gonna be a jump ball. Oh, some contact, but once again, Pittsburgh on the wrong end of these second chances. Not, not the uh, most exciting looking reception, but uh, definitely a very focused one from Will Lindquist. Fine. No mark on Tanner, but doesn't matter. It looks like they're gonna throw a little bit of a zone here. And I was just about to say, I haven't really seen a Pittsburgh zone much. Curious how this will work against Atlanta. Robinson with the disc, very quick to give it to Taylor. He's got Antoine Davis, you can see it, just leads him to the end zone. There's nothing that can be done. What awareness, vision. The man with the plan here, looking for someone to start him off with Pierce now, right at the 20, stuck on the far sideline. Got Taylor back again on the reset, looking for the next cut. Jaime coming from the front of the stack. And there they go deep, Eckertzel. Kind of fakes like he's going under, then goes and gets it. Kind of faking out the defender there for a moment. Davis then continues the motion. Great bid, but Smith grabs it for another goal. What a sequence from Atlanta. I believe that was Connor Newell with that bid. Definitely a different offensive line that we're seeing that we're I believe Atlanta. I believe this is the, uh, the go-to person line from Atlanta with uh, additions of Parker Bray and Brett Holzmeyer as well. Yeah, not used to seeing Polk on offense here, but doing a good job. Taylor goes all the way to Hallsmeyer. Great position throw. That's the kind of stuff that just wows people if you're not used to the sport. The vision and then having someone like Taylor show you what he can do. Perfect blade on that, and then it hovers to the tall guy. What a throw. That's got to be one of the, the smartest and most pretty throws, or prettiest throws we've seen all night. Uh, this back shoulder fade, as you'll hear it called a lot, um, no matter how close you are as a defender, it just comes right back into that strong or weak side of the field. Fakes off to Davis, is going to have to look back to Pierce, able to reset perfectly. Can they continue moving it up the disc? Over the top to Taylor, he's at the 40 now. Looks off Davis, looks him off again. No, I'm going deep to Lindquist once again. He's just positioning himself. Great you know, work there from Pittsburgh. I'm but. not surprised you thought that was Lindquist, but oh. that was actually City Lindquist. That's Parker Bray, number seven. You got me. Ever since he's gotten his haircut, they've been a little bit easier to tell apart, but um, I missed it. The great work there for Parker Bray. You love to see Parker Bray cutting deep. Yeah, look at him just position himself here really well, and knowing that number 78's coming in on him. That was great hands there from 78. Great Sometimes focus. it'll freak you out if you're on offense and just juggle it and drop it. Back to Taylor again, who just is moving all over right now. Has a great cut from Jaime, has to look it off. Smith open on the reset, but not so much anymore. Tanner has an open cut, and there it is. Again, the feet on this man. This guy, once he takes off, if you're not ready, I'm telling you, it's, you're done. So we see Tanner put the cone on the disc. Curious if that will get us a, uh, a call or not. You hear Smith calling for it, but then you right can, here, yeah. You, have, you see Tanner just kind of swim right around. If you're newer to Frisbee and you hear, uh, you know, your teammate, your coach, what have you, say the word swim a lot. Smith now trapped in the back. Of course, Taylor able to help him out. Eckworth will deep in the back. Is he going to be able to get there? Yeah. Just kind of camping in the back. And Taylor, I mean, he threw that thing. It seemed like 100 miles an hour back there. That was a good 50-yard throw. Austin Taylor once again showing why you need to put three or four marks on him if you want him to throw a bad throw. And Eckworth will just, you know, I don't want to say surprising because if you know him, you're not surprised. But just in addition to this offensive line that has just been clicking, um, ambidextrous, never know which pivot foot he's going to set. Um, but he is just a great.